At this time, it is certainly not wise to impose programmed learning techniques in full scale upon a school system. What is required instead is practical tryout so that educational administrators can use this initial information for making broad scale decisions about curriculum and administrative changes. Many questions arise. How will these new techniques have to be adapted to existing educational patterns? What organizational changes will be necessitated by this new instructional method? What is the appropriate balance of programmed instruction, group instruction, laboratory work, library work, and other educational experiences? With the increase in individualized instruction, will the physical construction of school buildings change? Where will program curricula come from? Will we develop the teams of content specialists and experimental psychologists needed to produce increasingly effective programs? Will schools develop them themselves, or will they be produced commercially as textbooks are? These are a few of the important questions which educational planners will need to answer. A most important consideration in program learning is that the results of its application need to be fed back to the psychologist's laboratory for more detailed study in order to increase our knowledge of the learning process. The characteristics of this process can then be translated into a learning theory and teaching technology which can then be taught in our colleges of education. The present school system will undoubtedly be profoundly influenced by program teaching. The changes which it will bring about will be interesting and exciting. And they will occur as educators determine the unique advantages and disadvantages of this new educational tool. To help in this, writings that represent the present state of knowledge in the field have been collected in a recent source book by the National Education Association. The important immediate task for the educator is to acquaint himself open-mindedly with the techniques and claims of programmed instruction and to investigate how and where these methods are useful. The wise and imaginative use of teaching machines and programmed learning is a challenge and responsibility for all of us. 